The Museum of Maria Skłodowska Curie in Warsaw, Poland is devoted to her life and work and is biographical museum. The Polish two-time Nobel winner was born in this 18th century apartment building on Freta Street 16. The museum, which is sponsored by the Polish Chemical Society, is the only biographical museum in the world devoted to the discoverer of polonium and radium. The Maria Skłodowska Curie Museum was established in 1967 by the Polish Chemical Society society. Participants in the museum's inauguration included the younger daughter and biographer of Maria Skłodowska Curie. The building has been rebuilt several times. After Maria Skłodowska Curie's death in 1934, a plague was attached to the building, commemorating her birth there and her epochal scientific discoveries. During the 1944 Warsaw Uprising, the building was deliberately demolished by the German forces, but the plague survived and was put back after the building was rebuilt after World War II. So you've mentioned that her daughter was uh, was doing similar things. Were they working together? Yes, her daughter uh, Irene was uh, in fact a pupil of Mary. She uh, was also a PhD at the Sorbonne and uh, she uh, also worked at the Radium Institute in Paris. And we can say that uh, one of the top achievements of Curie Institute in Paris was the uh, discover of uh, artificial uh, radioactivity. The, this discovery was made by uh, Irene, exactly. Irene uh, and her husband, Frédéric Joliot Curie. And uh, similarly to her mother, who uh, whose first Nobel Prize was a uh, prize uh, given to the Marie and Pierre, as well Henri Becquerel, who, uh, who discovered the, uh, the phenomenon of radioactivity. Similarly, in the, uh, in the case of Iran, uh, she uh, shared her Nobel Prize with her husband, Frederick. Mm -hmm. And we can also say that uh, as far as her mother and father uh, worked on uh, natural radioactivity, uh, the, ch the child, Iran, uh, and uh, Frederick work on the artificial uh, one. And uh, the museum we're in, when was it established and by whom? The museum was established in uh, 1967 uh, upon the uh, initiative of uh, Professor Józef Hurwitz, uh, who was the president of uh, Polish Chemical Society. And the society was the uh, first uh, organizer of uh, this institution. August uh, of uh, 2018, last years last year uh, the uh, the museum the museum has been uh, operated by uh, Polish Chemical Society and the capital city of Warsaw. So the things we are surrounded by are the original belongings of Maria Skodowska Curie? In this area, which uh, brings about a uh, unique atmosphere of the past, uh, you can see, for example, the original table uh, that was uh, at first in the Skłodowskis family. Mm -hmm. uh, this furniture was brought from the Ipa, Italy by uh, cousins of uh, Marie uh, on request of her mother, Bronisława. She was, uh, uh, during, uh, during uh, one of her treatments abroad, she saw such a furniture and it was her uh, deep dream to have uh, something like this in her house. So uh, the cousins realized this uh, request and brought this uh, table to Warsaw. Mm -hmm. As you can see uh, on the uh, top of this table, there is a mosaic uh, with the chessboard. Mm -hmm. uh, another original uh, belongings are um, those uh, books mm -hmm. uh, on the bookcase. Uh, in the bookcase, uh, you can see uh, original books from the collection of Władysław Skłodowski. Her father. Her father, yes. Uh, among them, uh, for example, the first edition of uh, Le Miserable by Victor Hugo. It was uh, one of the most important novels in uh, European uh, Romanticism. Uh, and the third uh, original uh, object is uh, this uh, Georgette coat. Uh, Mary uh, wore this uh, coat when she uh, came to Warsaw in 1932 to open uh, Radium Institute here. 
and uh, she gifted this coat to uh, a relative whose family gave uh, this coat back to the museum in the mm -hmm. 70s of last year. So it belongs to the museum right now, not yes. to the family members. And uh, those paintings that we can see here, uh, who, who is painted on them? This is Maria Skodowska Curie, is it? Yes, uh, on the portraits uh, you can see uh, both Mary herself. It was uh, painted by Zygmunt Nierstein in eight, uh, 1960. Uh, on the uh, photo of Mary that was taken in uh, 1929 when she went to United States because she went to United States, uh, States twice, one, one in 1921 and uh, twice in uh, 1929 and uh, she was a guest of uh, two presidents of United States, mm -hmm. uh, Warren Harding in, uh, in 21, and uh, Herbert Hoover in uh, 29. And uh, she was uh, twice gifted by the American nation, uh, first with $100,000. It was an equivalent of one gram of radium. And uh, this uh, gram of radium she uh, gave to the uh, Parisian uh, Institute of Radium. And uh, the second gift, uh, namely $50,000, uh, she uh, transferred uh, to the uh, Polish Institute in Warsaw. Mm -hmm. And the second portrait, uh, on the second portrait we uh, see the aunt of Mary. This is a sister of her mother, Ludwika uh, Michałowska, uh, the Domo Boguska, who in fact uh, brought Mary up. And was it painted uh, on, requ on request of some member of the family or...? Uh, it was painted by unknown artist mm -hmm. uh, after the um, uh, January uprising, about the uh, 60s in the 19th century. And so when the, when the family moved out of this place, when uh, Maria Skodowska Curie was one year old, uh, what was happening here later? Was someone living in here? There was a, a boarding school still here, and uh, in uh, 1967 the museum was open. During the Second World War there was uh, uh, some uh, destroyment of, of the building, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and it was uh, in fact uh, redeveloped uh, several times, till uh, our time. Thank you very much, and now maybe we can have a little walk around uh, through the exhibition. Yes, of course. Thank you very much.